unnecessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Davis. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Matthews, he's checked in for Contavious Caldwell-Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. And there's the foul. It goes on Wesley Matthews. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Here's Mitchell. Well, Matthews takes tremendous pride in his defense. Always wants to shut his man down. Drummond passes to Harrell. Back to Drummond. Drummond is doubled. Pass to Kuzma. Here's Caruso. And another three for the Lakers. Love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. Now, here's Clarkson. Seven points in the game. And it's Mitchell missing. Here's Drummond. Here's Kuzma. Off the left rim and out. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Here's Mitchell. Favors trying to break free. And it's Mitchell missing. Lakers trail by seven. And, and for players like Andre Drummond, sometimes it, it, it's a paradox. Great individual rebounding doesn't always translate into great team rebounding. That almost sounds, Greg, counterintuitive, right? Because you wonder, is it a lack of boxing out? So if they don't get it, an opponent does. What is clear unequivocally, though, there is more to team success than individual numbers. Here's Caruso. A three-pointer off the mark. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. And it's Mitchell missing. L.A. has gone 2 of 5 with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. From deep three-point range, the Lakers rebound. Drummond passes to Harrell. Shoots over Clarkson. He hits good, and the Jazz lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Harrell. Montrez Harrell working so hard to expand his game. You can see the perimeter game is coming. Pass to Ilya Soap. Kicks it to Clarkson. Stripped away. Caruso, the pass to Matthews. That three off the mark. Jazz leading by seven. A clear look for Mitchell. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Boy, Donovan Mitchell as a jump shooter, so pure. And Wesley Matthews with the three. Matthews has got six in the quarter. He's hit four now from behind the arc, two in each half, making an impact. Clarkson passes to Fabers. He kicks it to Mitchell. Down low. Here's Niang. And he lays it straight in. Niang's got his second basket of the game. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Here's Caruso. Here's Harrell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Boy, what you appreciate nightly about Montrez Harrell is he leaves nothing on the floor. This guy plays with ferocity, with energy, and he's turned himself into a legitimate threat. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Caldwell Pope comes in for Drummond, and Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Matthews. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Favors. O'Neal comes in for George Niang. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Jordan Clarkson. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Mitchell. Bounce pass, Schroeder. Fader on the way. Kuzma. And there's the pass to Caruso. And again, no good by the Lakers. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. He hits good, and the Jazz lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Schroeder. This guy not just a jump shooter now. Dennis Schroeder more than happy to get inside and mix it up. Outside Conley. That's good. It's his seventh May basket in 14 tries. 
Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. And this will be his second and third shots of the line here. And 79% from the line a season ago. Pretty consistent there as a free throw shooter. Here's a guy in Joe Ingles who truly is an example of the right fit, the right organization makes all the difference in your career. Joe Ingles is a smart, tough, capable basketball player on both ends of the floor, and he just needed the right place to show that. From deep, and the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. 